Now, Gabrielle Weiniger brings us a very different kind of Passover celebration. It happened last night at Israel's Holot Detention Center, a temporary home for thousands of asylum seekers. This specific Passover night is different from all other nights. It's taking place at an internment camp for African refugees in the middle of the desert. As we approach Passover, we remember the command in the book of uh, Exodus, you shall not oppress a stranger living among you because you know the soul of the stranger, you were strangers in the land of Egypt. The detention center, opened in 2013, is now at full capacity with over 3,600 asylum seekers, all single males, that received random summons from the state. Some of them fled military slavery and a brutal dictatorship in Eritrea. We don't have a name called national service, but to me, it's going to be a national slavery. Because one is entered in the national service, he never got out. Others fled genocide in Sudan. Israel as a country, and they experienced the genocide and Holocaust. They will treat somebody in need as they have been treated in the back of the history. Unfortunately, until now, um, I didn't get that chance. Um, Israel is kind of um, making life harder even. In a show of solidarity, hundreds of volunteers yeah, came to Holot to call for its closure and in protest of emerging reports of hunger, malnutrition and inadequate health services. So currently uh, in Holot there have been a lot of reports of deep, deep issues of malnutrition which seem to be a purposeful policy of the government. It seems like it's part of the government's plan to make people's lives miserable so they quote unquote voluntarily leave Israel. We're supposed to open our doors so that all who are hungry can come and eat. So we brought our doors here to Cholot so that those who are hungry here in Cholot could at least have one decent meal. Refugees stood in line for the food under the desert sun as they exchanged stories of their own exodus with Jewish volunteers. They came from Egypt and we also come through Egypt to Sina. They came from, um, from the genocide from Germany and we also getting out from genocide that going on in the fore. On Passover, the Jewish people commemorate walking this very desert for 40 years, from slavery to liberation. Most of the refugees here today have made that same journey in search of safety. But now detained at Holot Detention Center, their walk to freedom has been put on hold.